next guest has spent 30 years in Congress representing the people of Washington, D.C., and fighting for statehood for the district. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. <laughs> Nice to see you again. My pleasure. Now, a uh, big milestone this week. You have been working for months to get the fencing around the Capitol removed. A, why was that so important to you? And B, do you think you're not going to need it again? <laughs> <laughs> well, Stephen, we have retractable, there is going to be retractable fencing beneath the ground so that if you need fencing again, it will come up. It'll, and, it'll just, just pop up when you see the, the, the mob? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So to speak. Uh, we don't want our capital fenced in. What kind of message that that sent to the world? I, it definitely looks better. <laughs> In, in the 1960s, you, you fought with people like John Lewis uh, for civil rights and for voting rights for black people. Uh, right now, bills are being passed all around the country that will effectively disenfranchise people, especially people in minority areas or minority districts. What is your message to the people who are facing these restrictive new voting laws? Uh, Stephen, uh, my message is that look what happened at the last election. Uh, at the last election, uh, people came out in record numbers. So my message is, you can't stop us from voting. In fact, you're going to really make us mad and really make us go and vote. <laughs> I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Now, speaking of not voting, you're the representative from Washington, D.C. <laughs> so, well, you get to talk, but you just don't get to vote. Well, just right? a moment, Stephen. Yes. <laughs> I get to vote in committee. I don't get to cast that final vote on the House floor, and that's what I'm wait working for as I speak. Now, uh, I know you have worked for years to make uh, D.C. a state, which, which makes complete sense. Both Vermont and Wyoming have fewer people than is in the District of Columbia. So it seems uh, oddly anti-American to have taxation without representation, as your license plate in the, in the district says. Um, you also promised me in 2009 during an interview that if D.C. became a state, you would give me a key to the city. What happens? What has to happen for me to get that key? What's the process where the D.C. would become a state? What actually has to happen? I know that the House has passed a resolution. What happens next? So you almost have a key. <laughs> because the House has passed the bill to make the district the 51st state. Mm -hmm. And we have had a hearing in the Senate, which puts us close to passage in both houses. So, Stephen, your key is on the way. We have to take a quick break, but please stick around because we'll be right back with more Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton.